native species or species that were not introduced to the habitat by humans and they occur naturally. Native species you get to the new areas is wind, waves, and winds. The drifter on the wind floated on the ocean currents or hitched a ride on migrating or storm driven birds. Invasive species are non native animals, plants, microorganisms, and pathogens that invade and take over another habitat that is not theirs. Invasive species usually lead to the decline or extinction of the native species. Invasive species are introduced intentionally or accidentally. One example of an invasive species to Hawaii is the feral pig. It all started when the Polynesians brought over the Polynesian pig around 1500 years ago. Then in 1778, Captain James Cook introduced the first European breed of pig to Hawaii. They affect the environment by eating and destroying the vegetation. <laughs> They eat the roots of native trees which make the tree to stop growing. They also are impacting the native endangered nene geese by eating their eggs. So the nene are having a harder time growing in population. What can we do? We can hunt them and eat them for food. Gee! Automatic bro. Some rice, slomi salmon, squid luau, some poi. Automatic bro on the side. Gee! Kill em, boo. Take the dogs in the forest. Rush them, bruh. Jump on them and kill them with your pistol. Whatever you need for do, bruh. Just knock the pig out if you like. Jump on them, snap the legs. It's all good. Can make some color pig. I want a luau, bruh. You put the pig in the ground. The emu. Put some leaves on top. Then let them bake. Or you can put them on a rotating spinner thing, bruh. Let them go for a couple hours like that, bruh. Good for go. He's ready for grind. This is the Easter Bonnie, bro. He came early. I'm just laying down. Be very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. It's rabbit season. Okay, <laughs> from the Easter Bonnie, we jump back into invasive species. Other ways we can do it is prevention. It's definitely better than the cure. The advantage to this, it is cheaper and usually easier to keep something out than to treat and establish pests. It is also more effective at preventing impacts. Eradication. Once a species has reached an island, it must be managed. The two main advantages of eradication are that it reduces the pest impact to zero and also the cost of managing the pest reduced to zero once it has been completely eradicated. Containment or exclusion means preventing the pest from spreading out of or into a defined area. Site specific control means keeping the pest population below a certain level in defined areas, such as reserves or other natural areas. Can also be in your house, bruh, in your backyard, front, left, right, lawn, over there, somewhere. Just find them and eradicate them. Biological control means introducing a natural enemy of the pest, such as a predator or disease of it, to control its population. Pauhana.